And as you know, time is ticking to reach a deal in Lansing, so we do want to get you caught up on the day's big headlines. Michigan lawmakers are in session and they're debating Governor Whitmer's state of emergency. As we mentioned, it does start at midnight, but she wants it extended another 28 days. This all comes as another 81,000 people in Michigan fall for unemployment benefits, and this was just last week. There are more than 40,000 confirmed cases here, confirmed coronavirus cases with 3,600 deaths. In Oakland County, the number of cases of coronavirus in nursing homes continues to rise. Oakland County Executive Dave Coulter updates the county's response today, saying that more testing needs to be done in those facilities. But I want to highlight today a partnership that we have formed with our local EMS workers to test every resident and staff member in our priority facilities. This is critically important. Uh, and these folks are already trained medical professionals. And so uh, this partnership, I think, is going to go a long way to help us address our testing needs in these uh, senior living facilities. Well, so far, there are more than 7,000 confirmed coronavirus cases that have resulted in 669 deaths. And as we mentioned at the top of the newscast, unemployment numbers are out and they show the toll that the virus has taken on many of your families across the country. More than 3.8 million people have applied for unemployment benefits, and this was just last week. More than 30 million have filed in the six weeks since the outbreak first started. That's one in six. American workers here in Michigan, 81,000 people have filed and that brings our six weeks total to more than 1.2 million.